Hey everybody, this is the second of probably three, maybe four videos that we're gonna be doing about um, on building an outdoor kitchen. Um, grill and pizza oven and a bunch of other stuff. In this particular video, we're gonna talk about installing a dome pizza oven uh, and also giving you feedback on, on what we found on it. Look, there's nothing that smells better than a wood-fired pizza cooking. And imagine having that smell right in your backyard, right? Talk about a, a crowd pleaser. Um, one of the Toolbox Buzz crew members, Dan Wheeler, recently built a backyard kitchen at his house um, and we documented the process. So in this video, we're going to talk about that dome, uh, a dome hybrid pizza oven um, that can be, either be fueled by wood or gas. Now the specs on this oven, it weighs 1300 pounds. The base of it's about two and five eighths thick and the walls are about four and a quarter inches thick. Uh, the width is about 42 and 3 eighths by 41 inches, and it's about 20 and a half inches tall. Dome ovens have been manufacturing pizza ovens for over 10 years. They make a variety of different project products um, that are all basically handmade in Portugal and Brazil. When we got the pizza oven, the dome oven, we found the craftsmanship was really nice. We were impressed with it. Uh, and uh, look, although that it's designated as a pizza oven, any kind of food could be cooked in a dome oven and obviously benefit from that wood flavor, that smell. Um, the pizza oven temperatures basically regulated, the wood-fired one, um, to burn hotter or colder based on, on how you, you set your fire. Um, and you know, if you wanted a well done or a less done pie. So the oven cooking surface, the inside of the pizza oven, it's lined with refractory bricks. Refractory bricks are basically made um, for cooking surfaces. They're made to um, be close to a fire. They're perfectly flat and they can handle heat up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. They also retain heat longer, resulting in less wood consumption. Now the inside cooking surface of that dome oven, it is 32 inches wide by 30 inches deep. Now that's deep enough to hold two small pizzas. Dan told me that he likes to make his pizza a little larger, he does one at a time, but he was able to produce a well-cooked pizza in three minutes. That's fast. Um, as far as wall thickness insulation, the wall of the dome oven uh, measures slightly over four inches, um, which they designed that so that it's well insulated. And we took readings of 765 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just on the refractory brick, not the actual fire temperatures. The laser thermometer that we used maxed out. And so we're assuming the we measure closer to the fire or the fire itself, we'd probably get a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Now, while the inside of the oven gave readings of like 750, the outside reading was only 200 degrees Fahrenheit, indicating uh, that it can handle the extreme temperatures and it's obviously well insulated. Dan also noted that his pizza, he likes to achieve like a deep a char on his pizza, really cook it well. And he, he found that the best pizzas achieve when he has a deep, deep heat. And to accomplish this, he found that he had to light the oven several hours before cooking, so keep that in mind. Um, but doing this also helped the pizzas cook more quickly and evenly. So it's not a quick, quick thing. Um, one interesting fact, did you know that most pizza restaurants do not shut off their ovens completely at night? Because they need to, they want to maintain a certain temperature and be able to bring it right back up. I didn't know that. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, let's talk about uh, shipment and installation. The Dome Pizza Oven weighs 1,300 pounds, like I said, and we picked it up at a local um, warehouse hub in a pickup truck. No problems. Um, we then used a tractor to lift it and place it in its permanent resting place. So you're gonna need a bobcat or some sort of a machine to do that, unless you buy it broken down. As far as the kitchen base, the base where the uh, pizza oven sat, uh, for the foundation pad, we basically we dug down three feet undisturbed dirt. We added footings, gravel, wire mesh, rebar, uh, and then an eight inch concrete pad on top of the footings. Um, when we were building the CMU base, we, we chose to build it out of the concrete masonry unit um, to support the oven, and then we skinned it later with some stone, which is another video. Uh, but the CMU has horizontal and vertical rebar. We filled the cores with concrete. We just wanted this thing rock solid. Um, let's talk about break-in period of this oven. They recommend a 10-day period to break, break in and get the moisture out. Uh, this is accomplished, we did it through a series of small fires, but we first um, we first installed a heater, an electric heater in for two or three days, just to warm it up and get that moisture out, then gradually uh, built fires and increased the size of the fires as the days went on. Um, the chimney has, uh, the, the, the oven has a chimney, 
It's about four feet tall. Um, we ended cutting. We ended up cutting it down to two feet, and we just did this purely out of aesthetic reasons. Um, we thought it'd be easier for us to cover. Uh, it, the 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 stove, the chimney stove, does not come installed on the oven, so you have to do that. So we used refractory mortar and we secured it permanently in place. Um, not everyone decides or, or does have to has to permanently install that chimney pipe. Uh, another option is just place the chimney into the oven when it's in use. And people find this popular option because um, you can then remove the chimney later and cover it and um, store the pipe right inside the chimney if you want, or if it fits. So, um, but the pipe is double insulated. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it travels through that inner layer. So the outer layer is a little bit more protection. Um, there's a damper to control and restrict flow. Uh, and that outer layer um, does not heat up as much as that inner layer does. And that's particularly important, I think, when you have guests or your outside kitchen, you have kids around and stuff like that, in case somebody accidentally touches that pipe. Um, you'll notice in the video, we, we added finished corners. Um, the four corners of the oven, we added those pointed corners to, to met, meet up, basically meet up with a granite, future granite countertop. Um, Dome Ovens does not have a model available with corners, so we basically fabricated our corners out of mortar and and once that mortar cured we basically painted the base the entire base in black epoxy based paint um, let's talk about hybrid gas wood fired options so dome oven pizza um, it's a hybrid oven this means that it can be used as a wood fired or gas fed pizza oven so dome offers an option basically to purchase you can purchase a drago of a van let me see if i can get this right a vanzi gas burner the Drago Advanced Gas Burner, um, obviously it's easier, it's quicker, it's more consistent fire, but more importantly, it can give you a cleaner experience than say wood burning. Ladies, ladies choice here folks, um, Dan, Dan wants wood fire, he wants the smell, I don't blame him. So if you purchase one without ga gas though, it can always be added at a later time. There's a metal plug inside the oven where the gas burner goes. Um, and if you don't order it with the gas grill, you know, the burner, you just leave that plug in place. Or you can remove it and fill it with factory mortar if you choose. Um, if you're using the oven with wood, the plug does not affect the performance of the oven, so you can leave it in place. Um, I will say uh, one pro tip though, if you decide that you're just gonna, you just wanna use wood um, when you're building this outdoor kitchen and you're going through the expense of doing this, uh, you know, just spend a little bit more time and a little teeny bit of money and maybe pre-pipe for gas or run a sleeve for future gas just so you have that option, because it's a lot of work that goes into this. Um, let me see, you can customize the dome ovens. Um, they have different designs and models and shapes available. There are versions without tile that allow you to finish it in tile of your choice or stone. Um, there's also what they call a do-it-yourself kit. Now this DIY kit comes in at a lower cost. It's like $1,700, $1,800. Um, and it comes with the basically allows you to customize the entire thing. It can be finished exactly how you want it rather than being restricted to what's offered. In addition, it's broken down. You and your contractor can build it on site. So this eliminates the need for you to use, say, heavy equipment to put it in place, like the tractor, uh, lift it and drop it and stuff like that. It's a little bit easier for someone who wants to DIY it. Um, as far as room for improvement, where Dome could improve their product, more service. So like many companies, Dome has been having trouble sourcing some of their accessories since COVID. Um, we're hopeful that they will soon be able to source pizza oven tools and covers um, like they've done it in the past. But for now, um, we had to get our stuff, uh, our accessories through Amazon. Kind of a bummer. Uh, in addition, I want to note that um, masonry pizza ovens do need maintenance from time to time. And they should be covered, really, to kind of pre prevent that moisture intrusion. Um, if you don't do that and it's not used for a long time, you'll have to do the fire break-in period, small fires, and then you know let it dry out again. It is inevitable, though, that there will be some minor external cracks with this type of an oven. And we noticed some small cracks after a period of time, non-structural cracks. Um, touching up those cracks, mortar in a caulking tube um, from time to time, it's not something to be alarmed with. It's just maintenance. So uh, I did want to mention that, though. Uh, as far as cost, the wood version can be purchased um, for $3,000, $299.99, and the optional hybrid gas-fired oven can be purchased for $44.99. Shipping's free, which I loved. Um, 
and like I said, it's heavy, so be prepared for that. Overall thoughts on the Dome Pizza Oven. It's, uh, it's an excellent addition to an outdoor kitchen. Uh, it does have some maintenance required to it. You do have to pay attention to it. Um, it's available as a hybrid. You can choose to cook with wood or gas. Um, if you're using it as a wood model, the wood-fired pizza flavor, you know is going to be a crowd pleaser. You just know it. Um, I, I, we basically, we don't, we feel you can't go wrong with these dome ovens if you're doing an outdoor kitchen. So take a look at their website, check them out. We recommend them. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you at the next review. The next video, we'll be talking about how we skin the outside of the uh, kitchen with some stone. Pretty cool video. We'll talk to you then.